The consortium headed by American and former LA Dodgers general manager Kevin Malone will make another bid to take over Everton in the coming weeks. Uh, Alan Myers confirmed this last night on Sky Sports News. That a lot around the story is carried on today. No more details, really. He was interested before Farad Mashiri decided to go with the freaking group. Uh, we know what's happened with that one at the moment. That one looks like it's off the table at the minute, although there is some feeling around that that it isn't totally over. But time will tell on that one. Uh, but Kevin Malone is apparently and a consor- is heading up a consortium that is wanting to make a bid for Everton Football Club. There's other bits around this whole story running as well is that there was Vici Finance last time out who came in uh, very late there, still monitoring the situation uh, as to whether to come back in. And also Vach Manukian is apparently still not out of it either yet. So Farad Mashiri does have a couple of options at the minute. Um, the freaking group looked as though that was uh, that was going to be the best one for Everton. But, you know, as I say, right now, the talks are broken down on that one. So we'll have to wait and see. But one thing is for certain, we need this sorted as soon as possible. And we need people to come in who are ready to, ready to get their hands dirty and drag this football club moving forward. And the sooner that happens, the better. Beto has spoken out about his critics and how he deals with haters' comments. Uh, He said, I have notes. I take screenshots from Facebook and YouTube comments. When they say something like, I'm not good enough or something like that, I say, okay. I take the screenshot, put it on my notes and read it. Um, He was speaking, uh, doing an interview. He also mentioned his first Premier League season and said it was really tough. I don't think I adjusted too well, but now I know the Premier League and know what I have to do to get better, to create more chances and score more goals and help the team. I just need to be more open physically to do what I want to do. I mean, listen, it's good to be self reflective. I don't think Beto had the greatest of seasons. He had some good moments, no doubt about that. There's there's more to him. He's a big he's a big lad. Uh, can he put himself about a bit more yet? Should he does he need to be a bit physically stronger at times in going down? Yes he does. But also with that, it is there is that adjustment period that's so unforgiving at times the Premier League coming from a league that is a lot slower like Serie A coming into the hustle and bustle of the Premier League it does take people time to adjust and he's got to adjust you know quickly Everton need him firing and scoring goals there's a lot of talk about him moving on I'm not sure the lad himself wants that I think he wants to get in and do well at Everton but he knows he has to improve and it's good to hear him if he'd have done that interview and said I had had a great you know great season it was easy to adjust then people might be looking and going you need to do better he'll know he needs to do better he said he needs to do better so hopefully he'll have a much better season hopefully Everton will create a lot more chances for him this time out uh, Everton are reportedly continuing to pursue a deal for Hellas Verona defender Jackson Chichua. They want to get a deal done. Verona won around €10 million Euros plus bonuses for the 22-year-old. Their negotiations are continuing at the moment. Uh, Ren also very interested in taking him there. Listen, this player is very quick and he would be a good addition at that price. It's just a bit mad that he would, if he did come in, Everton would then have four right backs at the club and only one left back. I, I find that a little bit odd, but you know, he, would he be a good addition? I think so. He's physically very good, um, and ten million euro isn't that much money, really, is it? So we'll wait and see whether we progress with that one. And finally, Everton today have confirmed that the barrel cladding on the roof of the new stadium has been completed. It's a big uh, milestone. This was done, I think. Don't think this was due to be finished till the end of next week. It's been done a bit earlier. The stadium is looking absolutely superb now, isn't it? Look at that image there. Absolutely fantastic. It's the big positive around the football club at the moment. Yes, it's been in some respects, a, a bit of a millstone in terms of where we are financially around the club. But we have, uh, we are edging closer to the day that that's finished and we own the stadium, um, and which becomes part of a big asset should a new takeover um, be 
be done then they would be inheriting a brand new purpose built stadium on the banks of the Royal Blue Mersey which is a big big pull surely for anybody and you know, we've heard it today, Darren McCantney again today reiterating that even if someone ended up paying £750 million for Everton, it'd be an absolute steal. He's reaffirmed that today. You don't have to pay that much to get Everton. Not Certainly not £750 million. £600 million, yeah. Um, so for people out there, they could be getting a steal, so to speak. Um, you've just got to find the right people. But the stadium certainly helps, and it it just looks absolutely fan, you know, fantastic. So there you go. That is it from us. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. See you later.